Yo, yo, what is up? Welcome back for another video. As you can tell by the title, we got new end links in. Um, haven't opened the box yet, but uh, here we are. We're gonna crack it open. We got new uh, rear end links that are adjustable and aren't spherical, and then new front end links that are the same. Um, the end links in the car right now are the 034 spherical ones, and they make a lot of noise. I don't know if it's just because it was over time or because I lowered the car significantly more than when um, they were installed originally on springs. They were fine, they weren't noisy. Put coilovers on, lowered the car a little bit more, started making a lot of noise, so. I don't know if it was just a coincidence when I lowered it, they started making noise or whatever. And the fronts are just the end links that came with my uh, BCs, and they were like, I remember them not being easy to put in. Like they were, had to be forced pretty well. It was a pain in the ass to get them in, so. Obviously, that means there's some type of preload one way or another on the fronts. Um, I've been riding around like that for better part, almost a year, honestly. Because I got the coilovers around Black Friday and installed them about a month after that when I got my DCC delete. So, um, it's time to see what adjustable end links will really do. Hopefully, I get rid of the noise and the preload. And, uh, yeah, let's open the box. Well, well here we are. These are like reverse threaded on one side, so you can just twist it one way and get them to extend and retract. Very nice. Um, I don't see any differences between end to end here, but the quality is definitely there. It looks very, very nice. You got Allen keys on the inside uh, to hold it still if need be. Um, it looks like a nice piece. Some locking nuts. And you got these ends. Uh, these, the orientation of the side where this piece sticking out on the bottom goes depends on if you have the stiff or soft setting. Because I also run their sway bars. So um, you have to look. They have downloadable PDFs for each of these. I'll, I'll link them down below individually. And then they have PDFs you download and it tells you how to do what you need to do. Um, it all seems pretty straightforward. I need to do a tie rotation while I'm in there, so uh, let's just get to work. I'm going to do the rears first, then the fronts, then do a tire rotation. It'll be a fun time. I'm excited. Alright, so here's a close look at their spherical versus the, I guess they call it the Dynamic Pro. You can see this has the, uh, the rubber bushing in there. This is the uh, spherical style. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get off. And you can see uh, the spacer comes off and you got the spherical stuff in there. And this is, you know, you got some rubber and stuff. I don't know if this part actually comes off. No, I don't think it does. Not with ease at least. So, uh, yep, yeah, one side off. I'm gonna get this other side off. Got the tools in there already. It is a 15 and an eight mil on the top side and a 12 mil on the bottom on the control arm uh, it's not too terrible to get out and like I said uh, it depends whether you're using stiff or soft it depends uh, for what side this goes on for the control arm because it, it'll offset it um, however they made this they made this so that it offsets enough so it'll be perfect for uh, the different settings so nice well Right now I'm kind of at a guessing game. The instructions aren't the clearest. So I made both the end links the exact same size. I put the other side in already, just assuming uh, the length of it. See, the issue is you can get this in there and it'll sit, right? Okay, and uh, the sway bar moves. When the sway bar is not connected to either side, the sway bar moves, you know, up and down. So you don't know, I don't know where the sway bar needs to sit necessarily. For this to match you know because I don't want preload so with the fronts it's a lot easier because of how long it is you can just grab the thing and twist it until you feel like a neutral position when there's weight on wheels but with this you can't like you're not supposed to have any real tension on this link when the weight is on it so basically you're gonna install the end link put the wheels back on lower the car 
and then get in there and feel if there's any like real tension. You should be able to, to spin this still with tension on it. So that's my issue right now. It's going to be kind of a trial and error here. I'll, I'll let you guys know what I figure out. It's going to be up, down, up, down, up, down a few times, I'm going to assume. But um, like I said, if you're doing this, download a PDF so you know what's good. But uh, So if you're putting it on a softer setting, you'll have this bushing on this side towards the front of the car. If you have it on the, on the stiff setting, you'll have this towards the rear of the car. Um, they have this made so that it's offset so it doesn't bind when it's in either setting so I'm gonna install this like I said I made this the same length as the other side I found like a kind of a neutral is neutral ish position between the two like upper and lower positions of the sway bar so hopefully I get it right the first time and this is all really easy stuff you see the nut is towards me this is a spring I go like this on both sides nut towards the spring bottom you just you see how the bushings towards the back of the car it's the exhaust and you got your uh i think i said 12 earlier it's 13 mil on each side so you get your 13 mil through i put it through the sway bar first and then through the bottom and now it's in here now there's no weight on the wheels but i can like rotate this i have everything loosely installed but i can i can rotate this back and forth kind of so if i do need to adjust it i'm about to take off one of these two i'll probably take off the top one lay it back rotate it up or down one or two and then put it back on and, and try it again so I'm, like I said I'm probably going to lift up the car up and down a few times but uh, I'm just going to leave everything loosely installed until I find the position that I want and then I'll take the whole link back out because there's this lock nut down here you got to deal with as well so once I find the position that I want I'll take it back out tighten it down and then install it fully it's a bit of a process it seems I don't know maybe I can get a wrench in there to be able to tighten it, I might be able to. There's not much room here, not much of an angle. So we make sure the lock nut isn't tight up against the top of this yet. Cause you, like I said, once you put weight on wheels, you gotta get under here and make sure there is play. And if there isn't, then you gotta adjust it because you don't want preload. Apparently when there's weight on the wheels, this is on the ground, you want this to be able to rotate a little bit from what I've gathered. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, yeah. Well, it seems that uh, I got it right the first time. You get them on the car, get the wheels on, lower the car back down on the ground. Then what you're going to want to do is open your door and jump on the car a bunch. I did it on, on both sides of the car. Get in, you know, bounce the car up and down, get the suspension to settle a little bit. Uh, and I get up under there and I can twist that, that end link back and forth. I even undid the, the top nut, uh, laid it backwards. And like it, it goes in and out of the sway bar hole easily. So uh, I guess I got it right the first time. So if you're doing this and you have the 034 sway bar and you just got these end links, I did, I counted three threads from the bottom. So one, two, three, and that's like I, I lowered the nut to that point. So it was one, two, three, and then the nut, and then I lowered the top portion down to meet the nut. And then I just twisted it ever so slightly to get it to meet up, you know, the nine. 90 degree difference of the two uh, top and bottom pieces so seems to be good I'm gonna double check the other side make sure that's that's good uh, this is a little makes me a little nervous I've never dealt with adjustable end links at all ever before and from all the research that I'm doing and reading um, it says you, you know you want it in this neutral position so when you're you know tilted to one side or the other on the track that it's able to not have any preload on, on one side or the other. Um, and so some of the things I did read were if you had a dedicated track car, you may might want to put a little, just like a turn's worth of preload on it so that it's, um, and I guess it would be pulling the control arm up or the sway bar down, however way you look at it, so that it has a little bit. So when you're in the corner, it's already kind of loaded so that the wheels like pushing onto the inside of the car, you know, so uh, that's what I've gathered. I've watched probably six different YouTube videos on random people doing end links on BMWs and this and that. And I watched the Super Pro as a video. And anyway, so, so far, so great. Like I said, check the other side. I'll let you know if there's any differences and we'll jack it back up, pull the wheel off, tighten everything down, put the wheel back on, lower back down, do the fronts. The front should be a lot more simple. There's a lot more room. Looking good though.
these pieces are real nice. The quality is always there, as as it always is with O34. So, I am definitely, uh, yeah, definitely happy with this purchase. Now I know this isn't easy at all, at all to see. I wish I was on a lift to be able to show you guys, but you hear it. I have movement. I'm able to like rotate the head kind of left to right here. You can't see it, but trust me, you can hear it. I had to adjust the passenger side up two threads so it would be loose. It was super tight um, when that side was loose. So I did have to go up a little bit on this side. And that might, that's either because of weight um, or because one side's slightly higher than the other because of the coilovers. Either way, I got them both in a quote unquote neutral position now so now i'll take the wheels back off tighten everything up and move to the front all right well once you're sure you got a neutral load on these links on either side with the car on the ground after you jumped on it a bunch settled the suspension uh you gotta tighten you can kind of see there inside the head of the bolt is a five millimeter and then it's a 17 for the nut itself. You'll have to hold the, the Allen key in the middle and tighten that down. Then you got the bottom, it's a 13. A couple of Oogadoogas, I believe it said uh, 45 Newton meters for this nut. I'm just gonna get it nice and tight. There ain't no way I'm fitting a torque wrench in there. So get that settled and then we'll move to the front and then make sure you tighten down your locking collar down there if you can you see right there. Make sure you get that baby nice and tight. Alright guys, starting on the front here, take your wheel off, um, you got a 19 mil nut on each side and then it's for the inside is a 6 mil. This is the BC Racing uh, end link that came with their coilovers. So as you can see it's significantly shorter. These are max, I guess short right now as you would put it and you can see they're quite a bit longer there. I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing. Like I said I'm kind of all new to this, but I'm going to just, I mean this end link didn't really give me a struggle to take out. I've only taken out the one side though, this, this wheel's still on obviously. So I'm going to pop this one off, uh, take the other one off, compare, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put it in and max short. Now throw the wheels on, and jump on the car again, and then reach up under the car and grab this. And you want to make sure that this middle piece will move. Um, freely you don't want any tension on on this middle piece and as you can see as you turn it one way it extends both one of them is reverse threaded so the front should be a lot easier than the rear assuming that there won't be like stupid tension on them because of them being longer which I don't know how that really works so we're gonna learn together so I got them in they are like I showed you they're longer so I had to like pull down on the sway bar quite a bit that, you know, however much to get them to fit. Um, I just put the wheels on, lowered the car, jumped in the car a bit. I'm going to get under there and see if I can move them at all. Hopefully I can. I'm just retarded and I'm thinking of this backwards. But I think that they're supposed to be shorter than the ones I had. And if they need to be longer, then I can adjust them out. But to have them max low and then have to pull that sway bar that much was kind of a pain in the ass to get it on. Um, I don't know. Maybe because the the threaded parts were sitting straight and not moved a little bit like down so it would fit better. I don't know. I shot 034 a call. They were closed by the time I called. Shot them a message on Instagram. They read it. Didn't respond to me yet. So we'll see. I'm going to crawl under here. See what I think. Um, I'm not going to put the other ones back on today. I don't have enough time. I need to make dinner still and go to work and like two hours but hopefully this works fingers crossed but it's real easy to go in same way the other ones came out make sure they're orientated or oriented the same way and uh you'll see on the end link one side has like a hex part where you can put a wrench on the center section that needs to be at uh towards the bottom of the car like closest to the end link i guess i'm just an idiot um i'm under the car right now Obviously you can't see it, but I'm twisting it. I can twist it up. Let's see here, we can get, say, that's a half turn. 
full turn, a turn and a half. So I have a turn and a half of play before it gets real tight. Actually, I could keep going. Two turns. Well, anyway, I'm just putting preload on it now. But uh, yeah, it feels good. I guess I'm just an idiot. That's fine. We learn things every day. <laughs> This makes me happy. I thought I was gonna have to like get a shorter body from 034 or something. It's gonna cause all these problems. Just learn to have faith, I guess. Now I need to set this back to about, you can hear that. There's plenty of room here to, to play around. So good, I'm happy, very happy. This makes me wonder how much tension was on the other, the, the BC ones. But uh, okay, I think I'm gonna put it right. Well, like I said, uh, the other side now is, is good. Uh, there isn't much video to really show. They go in, they go out. I was kind of like confused and kind of scared that they weren't gonna work, so I wasn't really recording. So I was like, well, this is gonna be a junk ass video if I don't, but uh, they literally go on the same way they come off. You leave the lock collars loose, lower the car, jump on the car a bunch, settle the suspension a little bit, and get out of there. I'm just using two fingers on the bottom where I told you because it has like that hex piece and just I can get like one two three okay resistance go back down one two three resistance go up two all right go back up kind of three feel the resistance all right and then find your, your middle ground now you got your middle ground we'll jack the car back up lock them down on each side of the collar and uh torque down I I torque down the tops on the strut sides on each one already so uh, we'll do the colors and then the, the sway bar side and uh, I got it down Like flush with the sway bar, but it's just not tight tight. So I jack the collar up on one side tighten it all down Swap it do it on the other side. We should be good to go. We'll go for a test drive um, Hopefully this does eliminate or do something. This was like $300 worth of sway bar end links that I hope I actually needed I feel like I did I mean this should get rid of the noise in the rear, which is great um, and there, the size difference is, I mean, there's a few millimeter difference in the size that I left it versus the static ones that I had. And in this, obviously, there's a quite a big difference in length. Um, so what, it's longer and there's no, f so yeah, there must have been like a bunch of preload one way or another. That's crazy. Hmm. I mean... I'd imagine I'm going to feel quite a difference up front. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so here's what we're looking at. You'll want, like I said, the nut facing the front of the car. You can see I'm, I'm rubbing some holes in my fender liner. Pretty hot. But, uh, yeah, so that goes there. That goes like that. And you can see now that there's no... Oh, the car's jacked up all funny, but I can't even move the center section and the hex piece is at the bottom like I told you. So what I'm doing now is I'm tightening up these collars nice and tight. You got ones at the top and the bottom. And tighten those up real nice and then do the other side. Make sure you tighten up this nut real good too. And it's a uh, five mil uh, on the inside threads if you need it. You might be able to just whack it with a... Uh, impact on this side. If you have an R on the other side, your uh, whatchamacallit windshield washer thing is in the way, so you actually have to use a wrench. Yeah, they look nice. I'm digging it. Sorry I talk so much in these videos. Um, I just wanted to be thorough about the install of the end links. Basically, take your old ones out, put the new ones in, jack, put the car down with your wheels, weight on wheels, jump on the car, sell the suspension, or you know, drive it, roll it back and forth. And you want to get out of the car, feel the end links, make sure that there's no tension on them, you're able to move them. Once you get to that point, you'll probably have to do it a few times. You lock down the colors, tighten everything down, you're good to go. Um, I've been driving the car around now for two days. There is no more. The noise I was getting from the rear is gone. I still have some noise because I have like different bushings and stuff back there that just translate. I don't have back seats or anything, so the noise translates through the cabin pretty well. But the metal popcorny sound from the spherical end links is gone and now with the fronts um the pop i was getting from lock to lock i've had this pop for a very long time i don't i just ignore it but i did notice like when i'm full lock like backing in or out of wherever or whatever i'm no longer getting a pop um 
So that's nice. I haven't obviously been able to race the car. It's only been a couple days. There's autocross on Sunday. We'll put it to the real test. But um, I mean, I've been taking some corners pretty hard. It does feel a little bit different. I can't say whether it's like bad or good. It just feels different. Like I can't really just push the car on the streets. Plus my tires are junk and it's been raining. I don't have ABS or traction control or power steering or cruise control or airbag. All my lights are on right now. Wheel bearings will be here tomorrow. New tires will be here today. Um, and then I gotta cut my strut towers, slam the camera plates, getting alignment tomorrow. So there's a bunch of stuff going on this week. And then we got a drag race event Saturday night. That's for like a thousand dollars, a hundred dollar buy-in, and then Sunday morning autocross. So busy, 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 been busy all week, busy all weekend. It's gonna be fun. So I'll let you know what I really think on Monday's video from autocross, but so far so great. Noises are gone, car feels good, it feels a little more, I'd say maybe a little bit more stable up front, like, but I don't really, I don't have power steering right now, so it's like weird the way everything feels up front, so, yeah, that's all I got. Hopefully this video helps somebody, um, and I said the links are down below for the product on their site, and if you scroll down, they have a section where you can download the PDF, and you can see the exact torque measures and how to install stuff i just went over it with the video they go over it with some not so direct instructions but they're there so so far so good 10 out of 10 would recommend like i said comments questions concerns drop them down below thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the football